candidates this is your login page first you need to enter your test code which is provided by hr you need to paste it over here and then you need to start the test by clicking the start button you need to capture your photo here for that you need to start the camera by clicking this button once you are satisfied with the photo you can just click the next button or you may retake the photo so i'm just going to the next here you have got the summary of your test and then you can start your test by clicking the start button as you can see uh, your duration of the test is 2 hours and then you can start the test by clicking this button once you start the timer starts from here in the top right corner and then you can start all your test questions so these are five questions present over here as you can see and then you can start each of the question by clicking this button so guys here is the question for your test you can choose your preferred language from here as you can see it is by default c you can change it to c++ c sharp java python as if, uh, as for your convenience so let me change it to c sharp you can see this is the question this is the question provided to you you can read the question here and this is the editor here you need to see this is the by default code that is coming as per your preferred language and then you need to write your code over here you need not change anything mentioned over here here you can get your arguments input arguments and your output and this is the output but which you will be finding inside this function writing inside the function and this is the input argument which is passed to this function find q function and you need to type the code here and return the output as per the output present over here just need to write the code as shown here as you can see you have written the code over here you can just pull down the scroll bar and compile so that you can see whether the code is correct or not so here's the output present here since we have done an error you can just go and fix it back and then you need to compile it again and check whether the code is correct or not here you can find the input argument you can put any of the argument as per your convenience and run to check whether it provides the correct output or not as you can see the compilation is successful you get the correct output you can change the uh, input arguments and run it again to cross check and since it is correct you can proceed to the next question by submitting this module you need not write any console statements any printf or scanf like input and output libraries you did not include any third party library as well because it won't work inside the code editor thank you good luck for your test